Hey guys, welcome to day 132 of my carnivore journey. And this is kind of a weird video because I am recording it technically early morning the next day. So uh, it's kind of weird. I, I was I got really busy yesterday. Um, day 132. Uh, today is a Saturday. And like I said, I've been super busy. Um, as some of you know, I saw, I had, I added a little clip of like a civil war video game. Well, I kind of joined a league. <laughs> so we actually had a league match, um, yesterday. We actually have a league match here, uh, on Sunday, but of course, um, I'm recording this for Saturday. So I'm going to try to get back on schedule for you guys. So that way, you know, I was pretty consistent about getting them out on the same times every day, like after dinner. So I'm going to try to get back on that pace. Just life has been really hectic lately. So please forgive me. Uh, but guys, how are you doing out there? I hope your journeys are going well. I really do. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about. So one of the channels out there um, is called uh, No Carb Life. Uh, if you've seen it, I believe, you know, um, well, I, I don't want to get too much into his journey, but I'll let you guys kind of dig into it. But um, but he's been around. He's been around uh, for a while. And um, anyways, he put out a video asking for guests and um, and to tell their story. So, so I did submit an email to him. We'll see what happens if I end up hopefully getting to do a podcast with uh, with him. Hopefully, um maybe he can reciprocate and maybe he'll be on here. And so maybe we can start having a few guests from time to time. If you guys want me to interview some other carnivores and, and I like what he did, he kind of put that out there and said, Hey, if you want to be on, you know, a podcast with me, basically let me know. And I want to, I want to do the same thing. And I wanted to reach out to you guys as well and say, Hey, if any of you guys want to come on here share your story, share your thoughts on carnivore. And, you know, you guys know me. I like to be very transparent. I like to really get down to the the crux of things. And you guys know, I'll tell you what my inner thoughts are, <laughs> you know, when it comes to my cravings and, you know, I don't sugarcoat a lot of this stuff. Like, I don't want you to come on here every day and I'm just like blowing rainbows up your ass. You know, I don't be like, Hey, the carnivore life is great. And it's easy as hell. And you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to tell you those times when I see a donut or I see certain things that I'm just like, in my mind, these triggers, and I'm going to tell you how I handle them. And I'm going to tell you those things. And you guys will know I've been come. I come up with tasty poison, right? That's been my thing. It's like tasty poison. You can think of it like antifreeze for dogs, right? Dogs, I guess antifreeze, there's something about the antifreeze that um, they like or that can attract them to to drinking it, to, to lapping it up. Um, but of course, antifreeze is not meant to drink. So it does bad things and kills your animals, um, kills your dog. So we are not meant to drink the or eat these tasty poisons, but we do it and it's slowly poisoning us. And, you know, we got a lot of problems out there in our society. So in any case, I like to dive in that you guys know that you guys know, I like to get into the weeds on it. But so today, um, like I was saying, it was kind of a weird day. I ended up having to play on that game, like right around dinner time. So my dinner was kind of weird. And I ended up snacking on some pepperoni, but I actually not sliced pepperoni, but like the actual deli pepperoni, it was five ounces. Um, I had that as almost like a dinner in a way. And I dipped it in some of that leftover uh, keto pizza sauce that I made. <laughs> so I had some pepperoni slices with a little bit of pizza sauce as like a dip, but you know, just like a light coating. And then I had like, an ounce of cheese, just a few little slices, nothing. But, no, no, no. I take that back. It was two ounces of cheese. I don't want to do you wrong. It was two ounces because it was, that's right. It was the little two in piece that I took off when I was making the crust. So it's two ounces of char, uh, Colby is what it was. And that's what I had. It wasn't full on carnivore. I would say it was with the sauce it was like keto, but heavily carnivore dinner. But it really wasn't my 
dinner. So what I ended up having was this. And so this is like three in the morning. <laughs> and what I did was I took a pound of ground beef and it was a 75-25. And I put it in a pan and it's kind of like my chili dog sauce. I actually took a cup of water, one cup, but the, and then turned the heat on. So one cup of water and then and then I kind of broke up the, the meat a little bit with just like a wooden spoon. And I sort of let the meat you know, sort of simmer, I put one teaspoon of beef bouillon. I did some garlic powder, onion powder, garlic, onion, and the teaspoon of the, and a little bit of uh, white pepper. And I just, you know, mix that up. And I let that cook. Like I said, and unlike my chili dog sauce, I didn't add it like any chili powder or anything like that. So, but I just cooked that for like 20 minutes, like on a, and it, and it got where it was like bubbling, you know, almost like a boil. And I did that, like once it browned, I, I should backtrack. Once it browned, I, then I, I continued sort of letting it slowly bubble and simmer for like 15, 20 minutes. So I kind of cooked down a lot of the water off there. And then I made me three eggs like an omelet style, I put some meat in it, some of the meat in the 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 half the omelet, you know, did the omelet, and then topped it with some meat. I didn't eat the full pound of meat. I would say I ate uh, maybe a little over three quarters, right? So, um. But I had the three eggs and like at least for sure three quarter pound of meat. I had a little bit of meat left over because again, there's only so much. The reason why I bring up why I made the ground beef is I didn't just make the ground beef. I did it in that in that style. So one, the water would break up any of the chunkage and it made it a very fine, like a chili dog sauce, except it wasn't flavored chili. It was just flavored like a regular sort of burger. And so when I ate it with the eggs, everything it just was very palatable and it very it it ate well, <laughs> I guess what I could say. And it wasn't just a bunch of dry, chunky ground beef. Um, it had just that moisture, flavor, and worked really well. So, anyways, but that's what that crazy picture was. <laughs> um, other than that, felt pretty good. Today I'm feeling good. I, I don't want to get into too much of um Sunday, but for Saturday. I, I did really good. I am going to post a separate video here in a little bit. I'm going to actually record um, after dinner. I'll record. Um, it'll be kind of late tonight, though, only because I think dinner's going to be done late. Um, my wife is cooking, and she's making a pretty big dinner. Um, I'm only going to be having the country ribs. So I'm going to be having pork ribs on day 133. Um, and she's going to prepare them in a way that I can have them, you know, she's not going to use any like oils or something. She's going to just use some seasonings. Um, and she cooks them in a very tender kind of way. So anyways, but I'm going to have some pork ribs for tomorrow and I will record and let you guys know. And so I'll get my recordings back on schedule, even if Sundays will be a little late. All right. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much. And we will see you again tomorrow. And hey, and let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if any of you want to come on the show, either let me know in the comments. I'll try to redo the comments. Or you can email me. I'll put my Everything Paranormal Show email in the, in the description. That way you can reach me on that. Okay? Deal? All right. That's it. All right, guys. Bye.